So we calculated the magnetic field for a wire, but we only calculated it in this plane, and we calculated a B field in the Z direction. We know it's actually more complicated than that. So let's think about the B in 3D. Okay. To do it mathematically, we would have to deal with that cross section in three dimensions, or that uh, cross product in three dimensions, and that would be a pain. Instead, let's just think about the answer we had and think about what it would look like in 3D. So if here's the wire, and here I'm kind of drawing it with some perspective going off into the sunset. We imagine this little DS here, this little differential piece of the wire. And if we went up to some height A, like that, what we figured out was that, uh, that uh, if you're at this DS and you're up there, there's R. So DS cross R was that the B field came out like that. So the B field was like this in that case. So before when we drew it, that was sticking out at you. Now I'm kind of drawing it in perspective. What if we were to go down at the other side, down here, we could go a distance A down there. Now A, R has changed its direction. R is now that way. DS cross RB into the board, or in this perspective, I'll draw it kind of like that. All right, so we have it coming out this way and going in that way. What if we came out to the side, come out like this? Oops, let me draw it kind of like a distance A like that. Now R is going this way, out, DS cross R, it'd be down, right? There's B. And if we went back this way, distance A, there's R. Uh, DS cross R, it'd be up. So you can see what's going to happen is it goes around, which is exactly what we calculated last time, when we, or what we, what we mentioned in the last learning sequence. If we have a wire and the current is going this way, we know we just calculated you get a big B field here coming out and going in right near the surface of the wire. But now with our new formula, we know that it gets weaker. It goes as one over R, mu naught I over two pi A. Really the A is the radius. So it's really mu naught I over two pi R. So as you get farther away, the magnitude will get smaller, which I'll just represent with slightly smaller looking vectors. And then here, oops, it's gonna get smaller like that. And then really small. Okay. So that's if you wanted to look at it in the plane again. We can think about the fact that it goes around the wire and that its magnitude goes down as you go away from the wire. In the first, or in the previous learning sequence, we kind of drew it like this. We just drew single field lines going around the wire, like that. And also remember that there's a right-hand rule involved. Before we told you that the way to get the direction of the field going around is to put your thumb along the wire and your fingers curl around with the direction of the field. Well, we showed that's true today with our actual calculation of the direction of the magnetic field around the wire. If you put your thumb along DS along the current, you'll find your B field, your fingers curve around with the B field. So it all makes sense. We only calculate it in one plane in 2D, but it actually matches perfectly with what we said before about the B field in 3D going around a wire.